CPU and heatsink installation. Fru. Step 1. Caution. Possible component damage. The pins on the CPU socket can be easily damaged if touched or if the CPU is installed incorrectly. Do not drop the CPU onto the socket. The CPU sits atop the socket and does not require insertion. Do not press down on the CPU. Step 2. Open the cover. Ensure that the CPU retaining cover and the release lever are in their fully open and upright position. Step 3. Align the CPU and socket keys. Make sure that the notches and the keys are aligned. One corner of the CPU is marked with a triangle, and one corner of the CPU socket is also marked with a triangle. These two triangles are the key and must align. When the triangles are aligned, other keying notches and trims line up as well. The notches and indents in the socket and CPU line up, and the CPU sits flat within the socket. Step 4. Set the CPU in the socket. Caution. Possible component damage. The pins in the CPU socket can be easily damaged if touched or if the CPU is installed incorrectly. Carefully set the CPU in the socket, ensuring that the notches and indents in the socket and the CPU align and the CPU sits flat within the socket. Do not drop the CPU onto the socket. The CPU sits atop the socket and does not require insertion. Do not press down on the CPU. Step 5. Close the CPU retaining cover. Close the CPU retaining cover. Lower the release lever and secure it under the retaining clip. Step 6. Apply thermal compound. Caution. Possible thermal-related component damage. To ensure the proper transfer of heat away from the surface of the CPU, apply the entire contents of the syringe. Step 7. Clean off the heat sink bottom. If you are reusing a heat sink, be certain to clean off the bottom with an alcohol wipe. Step 8. Secure the heat sink. Lower the heat sink onto the top of the CPU. Caution. System thermal failure or component damage. Once the bottom of the heat sink contacts the top of the CPU, do not move the heat sink. Excessive heat sink movement can cause the thermal compound to smear and become uneven. This can result in voids in the compound that can negatively impact the transfer of heat away from the CPU. Step 9. Tighten heat sink screws. Press down on the center of the heat sink to engage the spring-loaded captive screws with the threaded standoffs on the motherboard. Pressing down on the heat sink relieves the pressure generated by the spring-loaded screws. To secure the heat sink, alternately tighten the captive screws 180 degrees until both screws are fully tightened.